Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about the user identity column, which is a special marking of a column in the users table that designates what would constitute user's identity. To demonstrate and to put things in context of what I'm talking about, I will switch to the data screen. And here we have the users table populated with some sample users. So as you can see, the email column, it has this light blue talent, which uh, indicates that this is the identity column. In fact, there is a little tooltip that says what this, uh, that this is indeed the identity column. Uh, an identity column is important because when users log in into your application and when you use the user login API, it requires two parts. One is the uh, user ID and the second part is the password. So the user ID is going to be the value that is stored in the user identity column. Uh, by default, when you create an application, the user identity column is always email. In fact, if you switch to the schema section of the users table, you'll see that for email, there is this radio button that uh, designates this as identity. And then any column that is identity, it has to be not null. See this NN, it needs to be unique, and it's always indexed automatically by back analysts to speed up the lookups. In fact, uh, here, if we take a user, let's say uh, batman at backhandless.com and try to log in that user, uh, we can do it in REST console, click user login. And in here, we use the email address batman at backhandless.com to log in the user. And I click login. Now the user is logged in. However, for some applications, you may not want to use the email address. You may have some other way of identifying the users, uh, meaning that you will be using some other value in the login API call. And here, notice that we have another column called name and that all the values are unique. So what we can do is we can switch the identity to uh, d uh, designate the name column as the identity. And doing this is very straightforward. You click schema and then select name, well, just identify the row that says name, and then click the identity radio button. So now the name is going to be identity. In fact, name is now light blue, and it says that this is the identity column. So now to log in a user into this application, and uh, in REST console we, we use the login API, in here, rather than using batman at backendless.com, it's going to be just batman because that's the name and uh, enter the password, which is password in that sample uh, data set that we provide. Click login, and now that user is logged in. And notice we didn't use the email address, we used the name of that user, which is Batman, right here. So I hope this conveys the message and uh, makes it clear of what the identity column uh, is and how it works and where it is used, which is the login API and uh, you can start applying this knowledge in your applications that you built with Backhandless. Thank you, and as always, happy coding!